No, I was going to say, this is what I was going to say before about social media when we're touching on it, right? They want to ban, there's schools uh, that are banning use of, use of phones. Oh, yeah, I saw this. Yeah, yeah. Did you? Yeah, I saw it briefly. I didn't yeah, read I, it. I, I, hang on. I, see, man, I, I saw the title, but I didn't read the actual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, I've got a hundred fucking screenshots here, man. I've got fucking a thousand things saved. I really should take notes. I say this every fucking week. Fuck this phone. Um, it was, hang on. Uh, Eric Bischoff. Oh, yeah, I told you about that. Oh, yeah, you did, yeah. You missed out, man. You should have come. I didn't think we were talking then. No, I just don't think I didn't call you. Thanks, man. No, no, no. I don't think I'd called you yet. Um, Fuck, I can't find it. Doesn't matter. Um, Yeah. Actually, hang on. I'm a dickhead. Why don't I just Google the fucking thing, man? Here we go. One day ago. Mobile. Okay. Here's a trusting article from uh, the ABC News. Here we go. Here we go. Mobile phones to be banned in Victorian school, state schools from first to last bell. This was uh, 25th of June, so two weeks ago. A ban on mobile phone use in Victor- Victorian public schools aimed at curbing distraction and cyberbullying has divided opinion among students and school teachers. Phones must be kept in lockers and first to last bell. From first to last bell. Education minister says, uh, concedes the ban will not be popular, but it's the right thing to do. The aim is to reduce distraction and classroom bullying. What do you feel about that? Well, I'm so glad you are. I was about to say, what do you feel about what that? What do you feel about that? I, <laughs> look, I, like, <laughs> I graduated, what, like 2008, I think. So, I graduated 2002. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. So, do, do you remember using a phone in school? Oh, yeah. No. Did you? I did. Not a smartphone. No, not a smartphone, right? So, no, we, can just I had text, a phone. we can text I remember each other. being in uh, year 11 or, year 11 or 10, yeah. somewhere there. Yeah. And I remember sitting in class and there was a girl, that I'd messed around with from, like, the northern suburbs somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> like a friend of my cousin's. A friend of a friend of my cousin's. <laughs> yeah. shit. Just, like, yeah, high school shit. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. All right, man. Come down. No, no. I'm just saying it wasn't, like, a romance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I still remember <laughs> she wouldn't leave me alone. Yeah. And you have that she opinion. was... Co- nah, dude, this was bad. Like, dude, I still remember her calling me yeah. from her phone, her brother's phone, her mum's phone. Oh, okay. Stalkerish. Her, her work. Yeah. Like, two landlines. Yeah. If, if fucking like cousins work, and yeah. I literally had them all saved in my phone, as in avoid to avoid <laughs> avoid this number because she wouldn't take the hint. Like, yeah. She wouldn't leave me alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still remember that with the phone. That's man. pretty crazy. Dude, I, What's your point here, though? Are you sidetracked? You, you asked me if I, ever, I remember using a phone. I go, yeah, I remember using oh, a phone. For that, you used it for that, but no, that's not what I used it for. You to avoid calls from. <laughs> <laughs> you were starting to screen numbers. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I was but, in high school when I started to screen. But numbers. we weren't browsing Facebook and we not weren't Facebook. beating ourselves off no, the no, Pornhub no. and not during school hours. Not during school. Yeah. I, um, in the, in the, the extent in the... of it was sharing ringtones. Yeah. Where you yeah. create. Yeah, because yeah. I was, I had the 3310 with the composer oh, yeah. and I had the 3210 with the composer. I yeah. was the first one to, and because I made music. Of course. Like, of course. Yeah. People would just, yeah, ask me to make them ringtones. I, the most I, common one was uh, the Beverly Hills, uh, Beverly Hills Cop theme. Dun, dun, yes. Excellent. I still remember using that as well, actually. Yeah. yeah, yeah. One did. I um actually I think it was the rude sandstorm. No, you can't mention the rude man. You have to, man. My mate Golf Farm, man. Shout out to Golf Farm. His his thing is just the rude. Every yeah, it's just what's on it. The rude. There was there was like a thing on the internet where it just he just blew up for some reason. Everything was referenced to the rude. It's like the the Rick Astley. Oh, we're gonna Rick Rolled. Yeah, yeah. It was the same. Anyway, but my point is that. Look, I don't think it's a bad thing, to be honest with you. Uh, and the reason I'm saying it is because, like, who the fuck are you <laughs> at your age that you're so fucking important that you shouldn't be learning something instead? That, 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 that's your final answer? No, it's not. But, okay. but like, I, what I'm trying to say is I didn't have a phone and I never paid attention. I never even went to school half the time. I was too busy, like, mucking around and wagging at the internet cafe. But <laughs> getting on the net. Yeah, exactly. You dickhead. Exactly. See, I was, I was, I was so committed to it that I would leave school to the point where they'd call my mum and be like, "Where's your son?" And then mum would come around looking around the suburbs for me. She'd drive around really? trying to spot me. Oh yeah, she caught me once, and that Little was it. Prick. Oh, that I was you were like more of a nerd. I got dubbed. No, <laughs> I got dubbed in by one of my friends because he was he was a little bitch and he didn't want to wag with me all the time. And he, and I, I think I got my report card, and it was like you've attended like forty percent of your class. Dude, year. that was me in year t- year eleven. Yeah, yeah, you ten year eleven. Fifty to sixty percent attendance record. Yeah, and mum caught me one day, and like, uh, but I'm saying that's the extent of how far I was willing to go to to interact with technology, and like technology is great; it's the best thing that's ever happened in the world. But time and place, man. Yeah, but you, all right. Here's the here's the flip, man. 
aside from the fact that it's a, a form of communication, mm-hmm. right? I mean, I remember when I had a phone, and when I, f- I wanted a phone. Yeah. And my parents would say, no, you don't need one. Yeah. Then I got one, and then my parents wouldn't stop calling me every time I was out. Yeah. Like, you know, why don't you answer the call? You, we called you. I'm like, yeah. remember when you were telling me not to get a phone because I didn't need one? Now yeah, you're yeah, telling yeah. me I have to have it on me every time? Yeah. Dude. So you're, not- say- you're saying that kids should answer their phone from their parents no. in school? No. Let me finish. Oh, I'm just out of time. Well, it's fresh. This is, the- okay. <sighs> this is my point. Yeah. Okay. Do you remember when um, you'd pay for an Omni fucking phone ID thing? Yes. That was massive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mid-90s. Yeah. I remember we got one. Yeah. And they were huge. Yeah. It's like, oh, you need to get one so you know who's calling you. Yeah. Now it's just expected to look down at your phone and see who's calling you. Yeah. Okay? That's a form of technology. Yep. Airbags and cars. Mm-hmm. Form of technology. Mm-hmm. Remember the first airbags that came in were rudimentary, most causing fucking neck accidents. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. And now they tell you don't put your feet up on the dash yeah. because your legs would literally It'll blow crumble. your legs out. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, when you watch those TAC ads or those airbag, how safe is your car fucking yeah. clips? Yeah. And then you have the airbag from the 90s and the Volvo. Then you have the airbags in, in the late the, yeah, the yeah. 40s. And it literally looks like a big fucking uh, quilt. Yeah. It's like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. more comfy than your bed. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. The point is this. Phones are an intricate, have formed and in, become an intricate part of society. Mm-hmm. We don't function without our phones now. Yeah. Why? Because we demand more from our lifestyles. We demand more. Why is it every time you go to get a job, right, they say to you, oh, are you efficient with uh, Excel spreadsheets, Microsoft Suite? Do you know how to work your way around Android and iTunes-based yeah. fucking platforms? Our tablets are all this. Yeah. Yeah. What do you say? Yes, no, you know? Yeah, but you're talking about, like... Hang on. Developer level. Hang on. They're saying you're literally not going to touch your phone, from morning to fucking, like, you know, 3.30 when the bell goes. Yeah. Yeah, nah. Oh, is that... So, what, what even on lunch and yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can touch it on lunch? No, no, they're saying no. Oh, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> then. No okay. All right. Sorry, I, did, I missed... You, you can touch it on there lunch. There was missing information. You, you Sorry. can touch it at lunch. Sorry, Muffy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, no, no. What they're saying is... Yeah. This is my... This is the problem with this thing, right? Yeah. They're saying that they're bringing in the ban to combat cyberbullying and to combat the fact that kids are distracted. Right. You think that banning phones during school is going to combat cyberbullying? No. Of course not. No. no. Cyberbullying, I think, happens after hours anyway. Cyberbullying isn't a byproduct of having a phone. It's mm. a byproduct of having shitty fucking discipline measures yeah. and raising kids wrong. Yeah. Yep. When we were, Dude, I was a victim of bullying through school. Yeah. Like, there was no cyberbullying. Yeah. It was just elements of it were starting to come in at the end of high school. Yeah. Right? Because, obviously, I'm older. But, dude, the fuck? The fuck? Uh, um, yeah, nah, dude. Th- there's a chip in this fucking phone, and it looks like it's a le- like a oh right gl- uh, water droplet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, ah, oh, that's fucked. We're leaking. <laughs> I'm leaking anyway. I don't know. Can you stop with these in your windows? <laughs> <laughs> um, no. The point is, is that I got fucking bullied in school. There are yeah. kids getting bullied every fucking day. We never had phones. Mm. It's because of shitty fucking regulations. Yeah. Shitty discipline yeah. in the homes and in, in schools and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. No, dude, you could ban technology all you want from school. You could take every computer away and take it back to the fucking 50s yeah. where all I have is a desk and a, a fucking abacus. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And, yeah. a, and a world globe which doesn't actually recognize Alaska or Africa. Look, I, 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 Do you understand I, what I'm saying? I didn't know that you can't have it during recess and lunch. Like, I think that's ridiculous. Okay, be that as it may, okay? Yeah. Let's let's go on the assumption that they have it at recess and lunch. Yeah, it doesn't matter. This cyberbullying is still going to exist as long as there are shitty people walking around. So let me ask you this question, okay? And this and point this and this is going to. Oh, sorry, I've wanted to chat. <laughs> uh, and this is going to be, I guess, a, a backup question because it kind of references what you're saying. But let's say, for example, we're having a conversation. Like we are having a, a away from away from <laughs> sorry away from this. Let's say we're, we're at we're at a cafe, right? And we're talking, uh-huh. and. Uh, and let's say you pick up your phone, not work-related, uh-huh. and you just start browsing Facebook, and, yeah. you, and you don't pay attention to what I'm yeah. saying. How do you, how would you feel if... Oh, was, it's insulting. Yeah. So, I think what they're trying to say is, like, put your fucking phones down when you're in class. Stop touching your phones. Because people... I mean, they're kids, right? We're stupid as fuck when we're kids. So, you know that you know that they've got their phone out, and they're under their desk going, I miss you, fucking I want to yeah, see you. But I did that in high school as well. Yeah, but my point is, like, they don't... It might not even be text messages, because that's what we could do. They're probably just scrolling through Facebook. Yeah, sure. 
Okay. You know what I mean? I, I, I like to some degree. I think like, yeah, you're right. Absolutely, shitty parents. And there's way too many people that should not be breeding. If you're a terrible oh, dude parent on Centrelink and you're just having kids because they're paying you more money each baby you have, can go get a job. <laughs> um, I love how you just totally segregating and writing off <laughs> whole social classes. And oh yeah, breeds of people. Hey, look, I'm on Centrelink. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on all study, and uh, you know, you guys get like six hundred per kid, and I get a hundred bucks per fortnight. So. Yeah, the, I'm the future of the, the nation. Comes and along you're every just, nine months, man. Like, relax. Well, they're coming along too often every nine months. <laughs> it's like on the dot, <laughs> on the dot for these people. How many, how many? How many you on now? Oh, well, we're about nine years in, so we've got about oh, seven kids. That's fucked. It's it's crazy. It's nuts. It's actually no, crazy. My my point is, is man, we need better education. Yeah. On social media, as it comes on social media, on fucking real real life. Okay, well, think about it like this, yeah. There are jobs, right? Because, I mean, I've been looking for work, right? Yeah. As in, up until... Say, yeah. yeah. You're on Centrelink? No, I'm not. They oh. would never give me Centrelink. <laughs> they, would never, they would never do it. I'll share my 100 bucks for with you. <laughs> what are we going to do? Buy three packs of peanuts? <laughs> tub of lube? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's it. All, the, all the staples. This, you know couch, know I mean? this couch is really good <laughs> <getting> news. <laughs> Shit. That's actually... Dude, that's what... Um, uh, my mate Will he helped me set this up. Shout out to Will. He... um. <laughs> Off He's well. like, dude, you could fucking live in here, man. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, yeah, got the couch. He goes, That's true. Because <laughs> there's a shower downstairs where the gym is. You, you've got a TV. It's a good point. I mean, you got soundproofing. You can even slam in here. Oh fuck, man. <laughs> it might be me beating myself to death. <laughs> I would like to hear that. I, I would episode be right. 99. <laughs> Actually, this is episode 99. Is it? Oh. Yeah. Well done. You you made it in between the century. 99. Yeah. You've been, you've missed out, bro. Congratulations! That's, that's a, not including um. That's not including the public service announcements and all the other little. That's a feeling. big number, really? though. Fuck no! I don't know. TV shows hit ninety nine, and they all make a big deal about it. <laughs> yeah, I know. But no, no one's broadcasting this except for me. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> Maybe you need to find a network. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey! Like I said, I, I watch Star Talk, that podcast with Neil deGrasse Tyson, and oh, yeah. and they film it. They YouTube it. What's they do, man? Everyone films. Why do you YouTube shit? this? Because that's another job I have to do. You just set up a fucking camera and turn it on. Yeah, but I still have to edit. Not everyone is as eloquent as you are. What do you mean edit? I thought you said podcasts aren't edited. No, generally they're not edited. Yeah. I top and tail it to make it nice and pretty. And, you know, if there's five minutes in the middle where you're touching yourself and I don't want everyone to hear it, I'll oh. get rid of it. Oh. But generally. Can I do that? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Can you not pay a fucking pervert just for five minutes of your No, no, but, but I'm serious. Like, I, I, would, I would be uh, much more inclined to watch and listen. I know. Because I want to see the faces behind the... I know. I agree. But the problem is, is that it'd be another thing for me to edit. And like, like I said, most... Why don't you just have a real podcast? Like, where it's, this is it. You, if you don't like it, fuck off. If you like well, it... Well, this is it. No, but that's what I'm saying. The video doesn't have to be edited. Oh, you're saying you still have to get it up there. Yeah. Well, just... It's work, dude. Okay, look, I'm looking into it. Okay? Look but, into it. But, again, that's oh, an investment. I have to buy fucking listen cameras. Listen to me. 100 bucks a fortnight. I'll study. <laughs> All right, the government's paying me. I'll, I'll chip in. <laughs> I'm happy to help Dude, out. I would need to buy. I would need to buy cameras for one, and setting it all, all that shit up. You can't do that. Why? They're good quality. You're fucked. You can use mine. I want to use your phone, man. S9 Plus. What's my good camera? Okay, can I just get back to my fucking point, please? No. Stop side tracking. <laughs> me. <laughs> okay, I'm actually loving these fucking mics, by the way. The, yeah. These uh, stands. I like these. Sorry, mate, because like for two, three years we used the um two years we used the tripods. They don't really move, but these. Oh. Things, yeah. No, these are legit. These are good, man. These, these are, are legit podcasts. Yeah, they're Mike. fucking tough. Yeah. I need to buy um, at least one more. Especially now that you've angled me. But it's so much more comfortable. You're the first person that I've actually set up properly, man. Oh, Nate you. had to sit there, and he was completely awkward. As in, like, how he was sitting. To be fair, I could jerk you off from that. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult. Start a me. circle jerk <laughs> around this table. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Chucky, get down here, bud. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Can, can we stop? Please, right? please. No, my point was, is all these jobs that I've been looking for, yeah? Mm. So many so many of these positions. doesn't matter what the job is. Like, it's either a management position or whatever. Yeah. They all include the words, must be familiar with social media platforms. Really? Yeah. As in, not every job, but so many jobs. But there's a lot, yeah. It's actually a prerequisite now. But, you, like, why? Like, what part of the job? For communication pur purposes. For marketing? If it is in marketing, or even just, you know, being able to na navigate around social media because they use it as, instead of having uh, an internal fucking um, communication system, yeah. 
Yeah, like you remember the old days when you'd have like a land network and yeah. fucking WinNet. <laughs> yeah, 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 WinNet. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, network edition. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. No more of that. They just like they're, they're, dude. Legitimate companies. Yeah. Legitimate companies will set up communication systems on Google or Facebook. I swear I to God, they start Facebook groups, they start WhatsApp groups, they start um, Google fucking chats. Like, there's a hundred systems now, dude. Someone, someone, the, the boys from the pool thing that I was talking about before. Yeah, one of them was like, "Oh, install Telegram." Go, what the hell's Telegram? Oh yeah, it's, oh, yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's a messaging thing. I okay, so yeah. it's like WhatsApp because oh, it's better than WhatsApp. Yeah, like, how? Yeah. It's like, very private because it's not affiliated with with Google and yeah, Facebook yeah, and yeah. all that. I'm yeah. like, okay, dude. If they want your information, they can get your information. Yeah, it's um. You sign a hundred disclaimers when you install these apps. I think it's very popular among people with cryptocurrencies because it's supposedly very, very private. Like I said, all these crypto millionaires from a year ago, where the fuck are they now? Living large in the Bahamas. Fuck off, man. <laughs> They're still living in their <laughs> with, parents' with basements. everyone else's money that invested yeah. in. <laughs> no, dude, I remember. I said this to you when I saw you last week, man. A, a fucking year and a half ago, I still remember going to work and all the degenerate gamblers that I used to work with, mm-hmm. man. All of them that would come in week every week, man. They would come in and talk about their multis and what they were fucking betting on. That asked me for tips and shit. Oh yeah. All of them came in on the crypto fucking wave and like, oh, it's 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 genius, you know. Yeah. I've got it sorted. I'm gonna. I've invested a bit into this one. Dude, you have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. You don't yeah. even understand how it works, let yeah. alone... Th- the thing is, like, you look at the stock market, and, like, to everyday people, the stock market's confusing. Really, really confusing. And even even if you s- say to me, I know what I'm doing, I'm a stock, in, you know, stock investor, or whatever the hell they're called, you don't know shit. You're just taking a wing. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, you know, well, I mean, I'm not reliable for any losses. <laughs> right? And crypto's the same. Like, the thing is, you can't go into it completely oblivious, but the problem is with that, that you can't know anything really about it and what it's going to do. And uh, and if you watch any sort of like other podcast with crypto, they'll yeah. say that like the people developing these things will be like, don't ask me questions about will it go to the moon and will I have a Lambo <laughs> because I don't know what it's going to do. The legitimate people, like yeah. legitimate people who are starting companies with the yeah, block, yeah, yeah, blockchain yeah. technology, um, but for the other people who are, it's just a form of gambling. Oh, oh God, yeah. And you know, the the more you talk it up to people and they they invest in it, the more money you're going to make because. You're talking it up, and then you sell, and it's the same as stocks. You know, if, if insider trading, it's exactly the same thing. But that's the thing, man. It's just selling something that has inherent value now. Yeah, and it's just, it's just that's literally selling. You're selling shit. It's funny, right? Because like the the blockchain technology thing is still for me, and I'm pretty switched on, and I'm even studying cybersecurity. I'm still really kind of oblivious to it. Like it's digital money that you mine. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Like people are going through, people are going through these all, all these oil mining problems and disputes. And I'm picturing, I'm picturing the guys with the canary down the mine shaft. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, the canary's cats. dead. Yeah. <laughs> but like, out I, of them, I've had friends show me pictures. There's a couple of guys in Bendigo, um, <laughs> and, and they've set up full rigs of like 20 GPUs running mining to mine cryptocurrency, and. What the fuck are you doing? Like, what is it? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's really hard for everyone to understand. And no matter how many times you explain it, and th- you can get the most detailed person to explain it to you, you'll still be like, where's the money coming from? Oh, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> who's planted that money there, and how do you mine it online? I wish we could take calls. <laughs> we are take calls. <laughs> calls on the air. <laughs> 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 explain it to me. <laughs> it's, it's really confusing, man. I mean, uh, you know, and banks are turning around now and saying, you know, back then they were like, it's a scam. No one should touch it. No one should invest in it. We're blocking all types. I remember because I, I invested a little bit into Bitcoin. They, ops, banks were turning around and blocking transactions from to Bitcoin companies. They were yeah. blocking them instantly. And they were saying, don't do it. It's a scam. You're going to lose out. And now they're turning around and saying, we really like blockchain blockchain technology we're going to use it and we're trying our best to implement it into all banks around australia you know what that reminds me of dude what? let's fast forward right yeah. let's have a look at the video games that we've played growing up let's fast forward to 2078 or some shit yeah where it's some evil conglomerate mm-hmm. and they're mining like some sort of ore that's going to be the new based currency yeah so minecraft yeah, yeah, yeah like, <laughs> dude it's it's literally like you know, this is uh, yeah. uranium yeah. slash some some fucking shit that's yeah. now going to be the new form of power yeah. and currency. Yeah, go back fucking yeah, go back to the fucking dark ages. Yeah, where they were trading God knows what. Yeah, you know, garlic cloves. Go back to Egypt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Egypt and they're mining for fucking all types of shit. Yeah. Oil, bread when, was gold back then. When did oil become a form of currency? 
from? No, no, look, I'm serious. I don't know. When did we start physically fucking mining? I guess when cars and petrol and... No, no, like, literally. Mm. I wonder if you can Google that. When did oil become... That's a good question, actually. Yeah. It is a really good question. When Demand? It's that's bringing up that is a when did oil become valuable? Ooh, yeah. First Google response: The oil industry, as we know it, began in the mid nineteenth century with the discovery of the world's first commercially viable oil well in the USA. That's actually pretty late. It came at a time when emerging technology creating new products for oil. One product, kerosene, became popular as a cheap, clean fuel for lighting homes. Kerosene. <laughs> yeah, right. Huh? Kerosene. Don't sneeze next to that. But dude, oil was first used in 1854 when they invented the kerosene lamp. And 1854. That- Dude, that's not that long ago. It's not very long ago. 150 years, man. Yeah. We've only had 150 years of industrial uh, revolution related to oil. Yeah. Dude, the world lives and dies by oil now. Yeah, I know. Every major war, every major war in in the Middle East has been over oil. Yeah. Go to fucking developing nations. They might not admit that, but. Dude, go find developing nations where they're finding oil wells and go look at the embargoes and shit that all happened around that. Dude, Cyprus. Yeah. They found the gas wells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They found the gas wells and before they'd even got a fucking rig out there, they'd sold it to the Russians and the English. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's crazy. Oil is... Dude, that... and No shit, hang on. But kerosene was first made from coal and then by the late 1880s, most was derived from crude oil. In 1859... In Titusville, Pennsylvania, Colonel Edwin Drake drilled the first successful well through rock and produced crude oil. Dude, that's legit. That's that's a fact, man. That's pretty crazy. Romania is the first country in the world to have its crude oil output officially recorded. Uh, named Romania? The, yeah, 257, 275 tons. In 1875, crude oil was discovered by David Beatty in Pennsylvania. Again, Warren, Pennsylvania. I so, have someone that lives out there. So let's... let's I want to ask you... Where do you see oil in 20 years? 20 years? Yeah. Okay, it all depends on which way. Here's a, that's, a, that's a very good question, man. And it all depends on the sway of society in the next 20 years. Because you think about two things, yeah? Yeah. You've got, Mar- you've got America in the Trump era. Yeah. Okay? And I honestly believe that one day we'll look back at that as a stain of Western civilization. Yeah. Right? But, okay. A- wait, 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 wait. Before you continue that, Tell me why you think so. Because I'm not too... Like I said, I don't really follow politics that much. I don't really like it. So I know that there's a whole big thing. Some people like fall into him. Usually they call, you know, the rednecks are into him and the other people aren't. So explain to me why. I've probably spent, yeah, every year not talking about Trump because I used to talk about him a lot. Yeah. Okay, but I'm I'm paying attention again a lot. But give me facts. Don't give me like bias. I'm giving you facts. Yeah, yeah. It's a fact. Yeah. Trump's era of government, right? When he came in, he made all the promises regarding America. You know, okay. Him, like a reform and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. He's going to make bigger... Better, what politicians do. He's going to make bigger, better deals for everything. Yeah. He's not only scaled everything back, mm-hmm. he went the other way. So basically, you've got trickle-down economics. You ever heard of that? Trickle-down no. economics is the concept where... The big boys at the top get all the tax breaks. So yeah. They have more money yeah. to invest in their businesses yeah. and everything. So then the people at the bottom eventually get the crumbs. The tri- right? tr- that's the that's trickle. trickle down. Yeah, yeah. But in reality, the trickle down effect is more or less like someone pissing in their pants and you collect whatever comes down at the, at the cuff of their feet. Right. Okay. It does not work. Okay. The guy that invented trickle down economics literally came out and said, it doesn't work. We've seen the effect of it now. It does not work. But but I read an article saying that the America's... Um, Economy is like the best it's ever been right now. No, it's bullshit. Okay, basically, what he did, he was just adamant about re. Uh, he was adamant about rolling back everything that Obama had done. Yeah, he'd seen it because he'd been insulted by Obama, and Trump has got very thin skin. Yeah, he's fickle. He's fucking narcissistic. Mm-hmm. When you're a narcissistic, arrogant sociopath, man, the last thing you want, is which is all CEOs, by the you. way. If you're a CEO, that's pretty much what you well, want, not necessarily. Oh fuck, is David Musk fucking? I don't know who that is. Elon Musk, sorry. Oh, Elon yeah. Musk. When I say David Musk, I don't even know. I don't know, because, you know, he's he's uh, he's borderline like Asperger's or autistic or something. He's really he strange. to be, to be able he's, to do everything he does. But he's strange to talk to. He's a very smart guy, but he's socially awesome. Have you awesome. seen the videos of Zuckerberg? And they think he's a fucking reptilian? No. Are you serious? I've seen the ones about him being a robot. Yeah, that, yeah. He's a reptilian robot. That's what they say. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, he's, he's in front of the, the commission in... um. Where's thongs and shit? No, no, he's in court, 
Mm. And he's talking about the, oh, way, yeah. al- the way algorithms work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. He's yeah. drinking water like he's never seen water before. Yeah, yeah. And he's trying to explain it to the old guy, and the yeah, old guy yeah. doesn't get it. And they've got no idea why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, why? If when I Google, it's like, yeah, that's Google. It's got nothing to do with us. <laughs> I don't control the internet. That I is a good Facebook. video. Yeah, yeah, I control yeah. Fa- but that, see, that was a good indicator of how out of touch these fuckwits are. Yeah, in politics. In you politics mean? and in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In you know law, I mean? in government. Anyway, yeah, yeah. As far as Trump goes, man, basically what it did was, okay, yeah. you have, let's say, the Department of, um, you know, uh, Fuck, uh, natural resources. Yeah. Right? Conservation natural resources. Yeah. Kicks out whoever was in there running it, mm-hmm. brings in one of his mates who was literally like a lobbyist for coal, coal fucking powered shit. Yeah. So he's just done the opposite. Yeah. He's brought his mates in, his corporate pack donors, his, you know, big boys in industry. Yeah. And he's put them in roles of power. He's that looked to- after all these. Totally contradicts. Yeah. The point of the role. But, with that said, if you were in that much power, and I came up to him and be like, Dim, good job, man. Can you just get me? Of course you can get me in. No, I'd get you managing a supermarket that I would have bought. Oh, fuck off. I'm not managing <laughs> shit. All right, carry on. Go on. No, fuck's sake. What he's done is he's basically just done tax cuts all yeah. over the joint. Yeah. And it's you're going to find it now for something. And because he's never had any formal training in government, diplomacy, he's got no... He just, he's running it like a fucking a, a clubhouse. Yeah. It's just anything that doesn't stick right. Like, dude, the whole thing with... um. Okay, hang on. Um, okay, they're doing the, the American census, yeah, for yeah. 2020, and he wanted to include the question, are you an American citizen? Mm-hmm. And they're arguing that they don't want that question in there, okay, for whatever reason. Okay. Who's arguing? Does the public? Yeah, both sides of the fence. Okay. Whatever. They, yeah. just, they don't want that question there. Yeah. They've started printing these fucking things yeah. without the question there. Okay. They need tweets out, oh, no, it's going to be in there. So now it's like, well, we can't contradict the president. Like, what the fuck are we doing? So yeah. they literally halt production, yeah. and they're going to waste you know, $100 million burning this shit up, trying to figure out what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, that is- It's the shit at the border. Okay, okay. Hang on. I'm, I'm getting off track, off, off topic here. I'll, let me just fast forward, all right? Yeah. Trump basically came in, started fires, yeah. and then took credit for putting the fires out after international pressure was put on him to fucking stop whatever he was doing. Right. Okay, so like with King Jong Un, yeah, right? yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna he ask stoke that, yeah. that fire. Yeah, basically had the hostility level all time high. I'm gonna bomb you. Yeah, I remember him saying and that. And then they're <laughs> like, "Dude, you can't do this. We're gonna die." Yeah. So then they they put pressure on him to scale it back. Mm-hmm. He scales it back, and then comes out saying, "See, we defused the, the situation in North Korea." Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, the big one that's that's going on right now. Uh, fuck, I had it for a second, and you threw me off with your sexy eyes. <laughs> Um, what was the biggest one that he just did? It was li- literally like two fucking days ago, and they were just like... I don't know. He, he, met, he met with the Japanese president a couple of weeks back. Yeah, no, it wasn't that. He, it was another situation where he created it out of... No- oh, Iran. Iran's oh, the big one. I didn't know. Oh, so they bombed a plane or something, didn't they? No, no. What happened They shot was, down a plane? Americans had a drone that was flying drone. over yeah. Iranian... It was in Iranian airspace, okay? Iran comes out, gives the Americans warning, like, get it out of our airspace. Yeah. Then they shot it down. Yeah. Then he came within like 10 minutes of like bombing like you know 250 fucking people in Iran yeah then he calls it off then he comes out saying that it was a humanitarian uh, decision and he doesn't feel it was justified we'll just leave it it's like dude like you were flying a drone uh, uh, yeah. over international airspace then yeah all right look at the that's, Iran- not, that's not the first time either it wasn't the thing with Russia yeah. well Iran fucking Iran had a plane yeah Flight back in the uh, late seventies, seventies or early eighties, I can't remember what it was. They had a plane, a commercial plane, flying. The Americans fucking shot it down, killed two hundred and fifty odd people. Dude, it's a commercial flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell me you don't know the difference between a commercial flight and a fucking military plane. Yeah, over yeah. airspace. Yeah. Anyway, with the Iran deal, yeah, Barack Obama had worked to secure the the Iranian deal. Everyone had signed to it. Europe, everyone signed to it. Iran can only have so many, uh, you know. Kilograms, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonnage of, of uranium. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, to limit their uranium production. Yeah, it's only for power. Yeah, it's 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 an energy source. It's not a military thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trump says that they're getting fucked on that deal, so he pulls out of it. Says, oh, they were fucking not holding up their own end. Blah blah blah. Mm. America was the only country that wasn't holding up their end to that deal. Yeah, and he pulls them out of it. Then he attacks Iran, saying, you know, they're fucking, they're a threat. They need to be pulled out. In good faith, Iran kept to that deal because Europe came out and said. Can you please not, f- like, please don't fuck with this deal. Like, it was a good deal. Yeah. Like, we're all trying to do the right thing. Yeah. Everyone's like, no, we'll, we'll, we'll continue. We'll, we'll continue. Yeah. Trump comes out being the aggressor again, basically just baiting him and stoking the fires. Yeah. And then Iran's basically, Iran has come out basically saying, 
that government is acting on fucking complete like naive naivety and ignorance. They've got no idea what they're doing. Yeah, we recognise that. But you know what? Fuck you. If you're going to play that game, we'll do whatever we want now anyway. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? But are we saying that, like, a large portion of the American people are just really dumb? They have no idea. Dude, I've because been... Because he's got supporters. Like, he's... Yeah. You've seen the crowds. I've, I've been there, man. And I've still got friends there, and I talk to them. Like, dude, I spoke to a friend of mine the other day, right? Mm. I actually wanted to get her on this podcast. Yeah. She's a, a... She's literally... Dude, she's a white, like, Christian-bred fucking, like, Pennsylvanian sort of yeah. girl, right? Yeah. She's got the perfect outside perfect light like picket fence mm-hmm. kids husband all that sort of yeah. shit and i always assumed she was a conservative she yeah. said, no no she goes we're my husband and i are pro democratic like really progressive and yeah. she goes we're the black sheep in our family my family they're all redneck maga like and a lot of them don't understand it because every area in america is so segregated yeah do you know what i mean you go over there and they don't know about other states they don't know like it's it's crazy yeah anyway we're getting way off topic, but I'll, I'll I'll sum it up again. Okay, basically the way I see it, Trump's era of rolling it back to the fucking fifties and sixties, where you got coal. Trump had come out, you know, two years ago and said beautiful clean coal. Mm-hmm. How can coal be clean? Fossil fuels, man. Like, yeah, the yeah. whole climate thing. You've basically got this underlying re- renewable energy thing that's coming through the last ten years. Yeah, we've become aware. Yeah, it all depends on what happens with Trump. If they get rid of him and put someone progressive in and they start undoing the damage that this cunt has done, Mm -hmm. in 50-odd years or whatever you said, in 50, 60 years, fuel won't have that. Dude, look at the cars that we have now. Yeah. These cars, man, they do 200 Ks in fucking six seconds flat. Mm. They don't have motors. They don't have engines. Oh, the electric cars. Electric cars. Oh, they're quicker than that. They're quicker as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're clean. Yeah, yeah, They're renewable. They're cheap. They're quicker than petrol engines. Yeah. By far. Because it's just a circuit board. It's not a mechanical fucking... You tell it to go and it's going. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And there's no wheel spin either. It's amazing. Nah. No sound. But that's the point. Yeah. What I don't like is the over-reliance on AI. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over reliance on AI mm. to do shit that you need human instinct. Yeah, to turn the car. Well, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But then again, like, do you think AI will ever be more efficient than human instinct? Well, they're already kind of are. They are. Yeah. Oh, away from driving. Sorry, I mean like supercomputers are just yeah way more because they only work to the grids that they have. Correct. Yeah. At the same you time, you define the yeah algorithms. At the same time, them. life is full of audibles. You never know what's going to happen. That's true. You know what I mean? It's like two people playing a game of chess, and one, at the end of the game, halfway through the game, someone doesn't like the other person moves, so they just fucking slap him in the face. Yeah. It's like, I wasn't prepared for that. That's true. That's life, man. That's true. It's Everything could be a chess movie. That, but that's the thing as well. Like, everyone's so now. Everyone's so aggressive. It's like, you're throwing education out the window, and, and oh, I mean, I didn't want to get onto this topic, but um, <laughs> what's that? What's that? Peter Dutton? Is that his name? Peter Dutton. Peter the, Dutton? The poly. Yeah. Yeah. When when they were doing the election and he goes, we want to bring religion back into schools. Oh, yeah. No, I, I don't even don't even go there. I don't want to touch on this, but I thought, like, education already is pretty bad. Why would you introduce another distraction to it? You know because what I mean? These, because people don't seem that smart these, these days. fucking idiots are going back into the dark ages. That's yeah. the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, any time you want to... And the thing is, they're not bringing religion into the school. They're bringing their religion into yeah, the Yeah, correct. School. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's specifically this. It's their religion. Yeah. Their brand of religion. Yeah. I don't fucking believe that shit. Yeah. Well, as in, like, that's... You know, it, you, whatever your religion is... Yeah. If it's not the... Whatever the agenda of the school is, what are you going to do? Bring... Religion, mainstream Christian religion, in yeah. a, into fucking state schools. And if a Muslim comes in, you, say, oh, can, you have to convert. To Dude, what if you're a Buddhist? What if you're an atheist? What mm. if you're a fucking J Dub? What if See, that's anything? what I, that's why I find strange because they can turn around and say that, but if but but like if sexism still exists, racism still exists, but when it's when they talk about the religion aspect, it's like, well, no, this is Christianity, and we're going to bring it back in school. And if you're not a Christian, you're just going to feel out of place and probably get bullied for it. But that's the point, dude. Religion is the um. It's untouchable. It can't be. It's it's can't be. Of course. Okay. It can't well, be. look at the Easy Falau case. Oh fuck. Oh no. <laughs> this is one thing I have been getting into. All right. I yeah, spoke about on. it. I spoke about it the last podcast. I yeah. did it by myself. Can I get your opinion on this before we go into? You this? didn't listen to that episode. You're a cunt. I, I don't listen to this. Shit. <laughs> show. I don't listen to this. What the shit. fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I've got I've got maps to watch. Come man. on, tell me honestly. What do you? What's your opinion on this? Okay. We're going to piss someone off. Dude, I know. No, well, dude, I, I really don't give a fuck. This is what this is. Fundamentally, this is the problem, yeah. and people are blowing it up left, right, and center, and there's no fucking point for it. This is what shits me. Mm. 
essentially at the very heart of this situation, yeah. this is the case. Is if Falau got a job. Yeah. He's 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 fucking under contract. He's under contract? Yeah. His employer has policies, procedures, mm-hmm. and a contract, which he signed. Well, that we all do. Like we all do every fucking day. Anyone out there listening to this shit can go and see where their money's coming from. Unless they work for themselves. Go read your contract, too. Read your contract. Yeah. Okay? But literally in the fucking fine line, and it wouldn't have been fine line. It would have been a folder <laughs> thick as fuck. <laughs> they would have had lawyers out there yeah. fucking educating. That's such him. a big... Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right? It would have been stipulated a hundred fucking times. Yeah. Do not do anything that denigrates, like, our fucking stance. Yeah. And especially now, they say a lot of social media as well yeah. in the contract. Based on social media. Yeah. Based on... Your, your, you are now a public figure representing this company. Yeah. Do not do anything... Fuck your political views. ...that steps outside yeah. of, the, of our guidelines. We yeah. do not condone homophobia. We don't condone, uh, you know, sexism. We yeah. don't fucking blah, blah, Racism, blah. Racism, everything. Dude, footy players get a night out on the piss and they get reprimanded for that. Yeah. They could be drinking on Just their birthday. Just any form of hate. They could be drinking on their birthday at Crown Casino on yeah. a bye weekend <laughs> yeah, and it yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. They, f- they step down for a week yeah. and take a fine. Yeah. So they get removed. Even, even esports, which is just not a big... not. I mean, it's getting there, but the players there, they yeah. cop it. They cop it straight away. Yeah. So how is this guy... Anyway, go on. I'm getting... Because it gets me okay. fucking... Now, Izzy Falau was fine to take that. Was mm. fine to fucking sign up. Was fine to accept the job. He does it for 10 oh, fucking paid, years. Yeah. Gets paid a mint. Then he puts up some homophobic shit mm-hmm. that basically vilifies a certain type of person in this country. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. That goes against the policies of his employer. Mm-hmm. He can't do that. Yeah. So he gets the sack. Yeah. He's been warned for it before. Yeah. It's not like it was a one-off. It's, yeah. He's done this before. Do you, remember, do you know what he actually said? Yeah. I don't know what he actually said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he, was, just, was it, he retweeted- cr- he re- should die or something? He re-Instagrammed a, a post that basically said- <laughs> Hang on, I'll find it, dude. What you have to do is go to his homepage. I, I read the articles, but Hang I never on. actually saw. You just what gotta he got go to his homepage. It's still up there. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, man. <laughs> That's how I found it when I did the last episode. I just went straight. See, to if the you page. were on YouTube now, we could have swapped the screens and. Oh well, I've got it. That's what their screen there is, is there for. Oh, okay. yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. I just didn't hook it up today. I couldn't be fucked. Oh fuck. Oh well, fuck, man. No, that's alright. Alright, part two. Warning. Drunks, homosexuals, adulterers, liars, fornicators, thieves, atheists, and idolaters. Fornicators? Hell awaits you. Repent. Only Jesus saves. Wait, so he doesn't have sex? Of course he does. We said fornicators. Fornicators isn't just having sex, man. What's fornicating? Serial sex. Sex. <laughs> oh, oh, so there's a level of sex. Yeah, yeah. It has to be in the ass before it's you're going to hell, <laughs> all right? Well, dude, the Catholic Church... Well, see, he's not part of the Catholic Church. He's part of his other fucking little cult, but... Um, the point, the, dude, well, <laughs> ch- dude, Physiology. Well, you look at Catholic Church. Dude, you look at the Catholic... If you want to talk about the Catholic Church, yeah. you look at the Catholic Church and all the fucking child sex abuse cases and oh, yeah. thing. Dude, what happens to him? Nothing. Yeah. Like, dude, oh, spotlight. what's his name? Yeah. You, you look yeah, at yeah. the systematic fucking um, abuse and cover and fucking, you know, of spotlight in the, in the fucking late 90s. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Anyway, look... To make it clear as well, we should say oh that God. we were both very religious growing up, right? Like we I were, wasn't. Well, I was. I was brought you into were. a fully orthodox yeah, you were. home. I'd go to your house and like you'd have the corners and shit everywhere. Oh, oh my God. To, to date, fuck? my mum slips it into my, you know, lunches. Really? Oh, she still, you know, she still does the whole, uh, you know, my, my star sign says, this. it's like, hang on a second, that's black magic, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's yeah, going astrology against Astrology has nothing to do with yeah. religion. <laughs> that's a, that's a, isn't it going against? It's what? going against it. <laughs> <laughs> and most, most, but most, and like the cup reading and all that crap. No, that's all black magic. That's all black magic. So how are you religious? I know. When you turn around, how can you... Like, oh, mm. But dude, that's anyway. like the Mati. That's like the Maya and the Mati. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That goes against Christianity. Oh, but especially they when they fucking get th- rid of the Mati. But they throw money down when to they, support it. Yeah, yeah. When they get rid of the evil eye. That's yeah. that's black magic, right? It is. I know. <laughs> like that's... If you're waving your hands around doing something, that's you're, not natural. You're one step away from waving two dead chickens and a fucking trout over a fucking <laughs> naked With a woman. Neck slit <laughs> under a pentagram. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, go on. So Izzy Falau basically says that, you know, rugby, uh, rugby union Australia tear up his fucking yeah. thing and say, get fucked. Yeah. You know what I mean? Good luck. Within their right. Yeah. He fights him, takes him to Fairway Commission based on the fact that he wants his four million for his redundancy, basically the rest yep. of his contract, and yep. then he's seeking damages on top of that. Yeah. Okay. Then what pissed me off was the fact that he went to a crowd source, yeah. crowdfunding go fund me. source, yeah, GoFundMe, yeah. to raise that money. Yeah. Dude, this guy's- Seven made, million equity? He's, this cunt's worth fucking 20, 30 mil. Yeah. He's lived this better part of his life playing yeah. s- fucking sport. Yeah. And he's gone to people that have no fucking 
means of their own mm. to get their money to support his fucking thing. And yet they're dumb enough to give him money. Of course they are. And there was a lot of money. Because they they're raising, a lot. They, they, well, he raised, after the GoFundMe page got torn down as well, because GoFundMe turned around and said, no, no, no. Yeah. Like, you can't do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't support you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they're, they're an equalist mob. Yeah. Basically, the church that he belongs to set up their own fund, and they yeah. raised, yeah, over th- two mil in the first fucking couple of days. Yeah. The point is, <laughs> he turned it into a thing about free speech. Yes. And that's the thing that they're blurring. Yeah. Oh, you know, we need to be free speech and free speech. Dude, it's got nothing to do with free speech. If he wants those beliefs, yeah. he can have them. He can fucking stand on a box. Dude, you know what I remember, man? I remember when I was a kid, like first sort of years of high school, and I would go into the city just randomly. There was a dude. Did you ever go into the city like when you were actually, you're a bit- you No, I did. Name. I used to get asked for, hey, you getting dragged on your back? <laughs> I was like 12. Yeah, see- <laughs> I would have been like in my mid teens. Yeah. And I remember, I still remember going into the city, man. Even when I was a kid, yeah. there was this one guy, man, that was always, always on Swanson Street. Mm-hmm. He'd fucking, he wore little gla- he had little glasses, he had like fucking little brown pants and this white jacket, yeah. cream jacket. He yeah. had like a milk crate with like this thing that says Jesus repents. Yeah. You know, blah, 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 blah. He had a little speaker and he would read. From a fucking Bible or oh, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he would const- he'd just stand there, man, and yeah. he would just read. I don't know. I've, I've never, I haven't seen him in 15 years. He's yeah, probably gone. He's now. a fucking nut, yeah. Yeah, but he would do that every day. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. But you didn't know what he did for work. Probably didn't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Did he? Did he look like he had work? I don't know. Yeah. He looked like a normal guy, man. Yeah. He actually looks like one of my old supervisors. That's the scary thing. Like, normal people that you think they look normal. And then you turn around. Like, uh, if you read, you know, when, when, like, the news channels post on social media um, about this easy thing, if you read the comments, like, some people are just so black and white about, like, yeah, go easy, and you should be able to talk about your religion, and we love you, and we support you, and, you know, God's forever. And and I'm like, I, I just want to comment, because you look at their pictures, and they got, like, pictures of their kids, right? And I'm like, okay, they want to they throw out free speech out there. Well, I want to comment. I'm going to fucking slit your kids' throats and I'm going to shove my finger up their ass while you watch, but I can say that without you getting offended or hating me because it's free speech. Where do you fucking draw the line? Anything that's hate, I feel like if it's going to cause the other person grievous, just shut your fucking mouth. That's the thing, man. Move on in your life. Dude, that, that's the whole point. I believe in free speech. Mm. But if it's hate speech, and it's like, oh, what determines hate speech? Well, telling anyone that's gay that they're going to hell. Yeah. That goes against your... But why do you need... Like, why do you feel the need to tell people that? Like, what... Okay. There was That's a great, There get. was a great quote. There's a great quote. Hang on. Let me find it. This stuff. <laughs> Dude, I... I haven't done a podcast in so long. <laughs> Hang on. I gotta say, I'm kind of enjoying myself. I didn't realize... What? That be that, this will be fun. Entertaining, yeah. What do you mean entertaining? I've got to listen to these more often. <laughs> you're, a, you're a prick, man. <laughs> Uh, I gotta find this. Sit on the podcast. It's on the religion one too. If this, if this is your first time listening to this, because I'm going to share this around a bit. Um, Are you? This is good. Yeah, of course I'm. Fucking... Really? Yeah, this is great. I love this. <laughs> yeah, I gotta find this. I've this, had this. For this eight. is more entertaining than any other podcast I listen to. I don't know. I don't know what you listen to, man. Mm. Um. Ah, oh, here we go. I'll show you. Here's a great quote. Yeah. But uh, Pascal's wager. Mm-hmm. All right. Who's this from? Uh, or is that his name? Pascal. Okay, sure. All right. Pascal. Yep. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I can actually look the... Hang on. I'll quickly Google... No, it's fine. It's the quotes. They're the quotes. Well, there. no. You want to know who it is. I'm curious about who's saying that. I know, because I would like to know as well. Because if there's a backstory about him, you know, having his own views about this... And this yeah, and I'll find it now. Pascal Wager. Okay. Pascal's Wager is an argument in philosophy presented by the 17th century French philosopher, mathematician, physicist... Oh. Blase uh, Pascal. Or Pascal. Okay. Uh, it posits that humans bet with their lives that God either exists or does not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He argues that a rational person should should live as though this is actual quote. Yeah. Okay. And this is what I I found. It is safer to believe in God even if there is no proof that one exists. Mm-hmm. And then Homer's <laughs> Homer Simpson's quote is: "Suppose we've chosen the wrong God. Every time we go to church, we're just making it matter and matter." Yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so basically. Probably the smartest thing he's ever said. Pascal, yeah. He argues that a rational person should live as though God exists and seek to believe in God. Yeah. If God does not actually exist, such a person will only have a finite loss, such as, like, you know, pleasures and blah, 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 yeah. blah. Yeah, yeah. Um, hang on, what did I just do? And um, 
uh, whereas he stands to receive infinite gains as represented by eternity in heaven and avoid infinite losses, eternity in hell. It's based on the idea that Christian God, th- through similar arguments, have occurred in other religious traditions, blah, 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 blah. Um, historically, it was groundbreaking because it charted new territory in probability theory, marked the first formal use of decision theory, and anticipated future philosophies such as ex- uh, ex- existentialism, pragmatism, and voluntarism. So there's a whole bunch of like quotes, yeah. So like God is or God is not. Reasons yeah. cannot decide. Reason cannot decide between the two alternatives. Yeah. Actually, it can. Yeah. The reason can decide between the. That is the point. I I get I get what you're saying. I just I think of it as a very black and white, and, and I really jerk the cock on this one where I say <laughs> I have to I have to just say it because like I firmly believe if you're a Muslim, good for you. If you're a Christian, good for you. I, I was born Orthodox, 21 years of my life Orthodox, woke up one day and said, oh, look, there's a sky out there, no one's waving back at me. All right, I'm interested a little bit in stars. So, but if you believe it, that's great for you. Live your life, whatever you want to do, but fuck off telling everyone else. That's the point. Move on with your life. I will fight for free speech, I'll yeah. fight for free belief. You yeah. can have whatever beliefs you want. Exactly, yeah. But it should not determine how other people live. Correct. And when he comes out and says... You guys are fags, and you all should die and burn in hell. Why are you better than that? Like, who are you that's better than other people? Like, these people are normal just like you, you fucking idiot. You're not even- He's not even white-skinned, and he's sitting there fucking bagging other people. Yeah, like as in as someone coming from a person of colour. Co- correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be more uh, he'd be switched more on of, yeah. with fucking- Jesus, with fuck my ass. Yeah, 100%. But that's the point. Look, that's what pissed, honestly, that's what pissed me off the most. That he's a person of color and he came out and said that shit and people support him. That's what else pissed me off. People actually supported the fact that he said it. Yeah. Come on, you man. You know This is what annoys me about the whole thing, yeah? As far as the, Christ- the homosexual debate, like, okay, it's, it's in the, there's nowhere in the Bible that says, suggests anything that homosexuality should be banned. Yeah. Yeah. That's another man made thing. Yeah. That just got. Into the looped into the argument. Yeah. But we're talking about religion now, which I, I can't be fucked with. I know, I know, sorry. Right. No, 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 I'm just saying. It's a terrible... But this is the thing, yeah? Homosexuality is not against nature. Yeah. All right? There are more than 500 species of animals that literally practice same-sex coupling. Yeah. Religion is the only thing that ever brought it to go against nature. Yeah. And brought on all the and wars no other, in between. And no other animals other than people do yeah. we know that actually practice a form of religion. Therefore, yeah. religion is against nature. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it tells you to... To basically suppress all your emotions, suppress all your feelings, suppress yeah. all your urges yeah. to follow a doctrine. Oh, look, I mean, it's been so long since, you know, the stories of the Bible and blah, blah, blah. And where, like, where, show me where. Show me where there's been an example that it's real. It's the one thing that we do not need probable call, uh, probable. Well, to show, be shown I believe cause. in a bowl of bolognese flying over me. Ah, oh, the spaghetti monster. Spaghetti monster is my religion. Or actually, <laughs> just recently, I started saying that uh, Frodo. And if it wasn't for Frodo. Listen, because I'm serious here, if it wasn't for Frodo throwing that ring in the fucking volcano, we would all be dead many centuries ago. What about, um, what's it called? Iron Man taking the, uh... Or Frodo. No, don't tell me I haven't watched it yet! Haven't you? No! <laughs> I, I know, I know, I, I can guess what's happening because of all the fucking idiots around still spreading it, but... Oh, I'm sorry, idiots. The movie came I, out like three I months know, ago. I know, but I haven't watched Captain Marvel yet, and I know she's in the movie, and I'm like, I'm not going to watch it until I watch Captain yeah, Marvel. Yeah, I didn't watch Captain Marvel. Oh, so can, can I just watch it, or...? Captain Marvel. No, can I just watch Endgame or what? Yeah, Endgame still made sense. I haven't oh, watched okay. hardly... Dude, outside of the Avenger movies and a couple of the Spider-Man movies, I don't think I've watched hardly any of the... I think that's all there is. <laughs> no, no. You got, oh, you mean the independent you got, Dude, you got movies. Captain America? You yeah, got yeah, Captain, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Captain, he screamed at me over Oh, no, Endgame. I got nervous for it because I've held yeah, it I love it when we're talking about... Religion, <laughs> where your soul's gonna end up. I'm you calm. Get, but he, I hear you talking about grabbing dicks. But you lose it over. I didn't say grabbing dicks. I said I jerk. My jerk gets off. Okay. My jerk is- nah, dude, you can watch Avengers Endgame without watching um, Captain Marvel. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, go watch it. I got gold class tickets. I just never went. Well, fucking go watch it. I will. Is it still at cinemas? It should be. Oh, I don't know. I, I mean, I've got the. I'd know, assume it would be, man. It's the biggest grossing movie of all time. Like, Are you sure? What about Passion of the Christ? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like Judgment Day, man. Terminator. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can look at that as a belief theory. Any, I mean, so I, there's so many. That's the other thing, right? I don't get, <laughs> and and, and I do question people a lot because, like, I'm not atheist. Don't get me wrong, because I just said I accept religions. I, if you believe in, that's great. No, but atheism but, doesn't mean about you accepting other religions. It means that you don't have a personal belief. I don't have a personal belief. Yeah, 
But I, I, I'd like to think I fall more into agnostic. Okay. I believe it. Yeah, same. I believe you believe it. Don't involve me in it. That's Ag- it. Agnostic just means you're open to the idea that there is. Correct. Yeah. That is agnostic. But I'm happy not to listen to your shit. You're just not, you're just not exploring it. Yeah, correct. Yeah. 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 I'm open-minded. I'm open minded about everything. If you, bent, if you bent over the desk, <laughs> then, listen to me. That's your thing. People are really homophobic, right? But if I came up to you and I, I said oh to my you, God. Tim, I'm going to give you $10 billion if you let me just stick the tip in. You would turn around to me and be like, mate, lube or no lube? You tell me. <laughs> Ten, I'm ready to go. Ten billion? Five without? Five. I, would, I would say I need physical money, physical currency. Now, this Bitcoin shit. <laughs> no EFT, EFT fucking transfers. <laughs> I know what happens out there. But, but, but you take the money, Show right? me the fucking money, dude. If I've slapped Then the, you would never I... see me ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Podcast has been postponed. <laughs> no, but I mean, you would turn. No, not turn gay, but you would take a dick in the ass if someone gave you ten billion dollars. Everyone would. It's ten billion dollars. But what's that got to do with homophobia? I'm just saying everyone's homophobic when it comes down to it. Homophobic. I mean, I mean, everyone's gay when it comes down to it. whether it's for a split second. So you're saying money will change that? Fucking right. <laughs> Are you? Hang on, because you didn't answer the question. Would you take... Dude, you'd never see me ever again. Thank you very much. That's got nothing to do with being gay. No, of course not. But I'm saying uh, uh, people turn and say, like... How the fuck? Like, he'd just say fornication, right? How the fuck did we... How? We'll talk about cryptocurrency. I don't know. We'd be somehow talking, you brought... Is your flower up? Because I'm curious. And now you're talking Actually, about... Actually, you brought it up, didn't putting you? Putting a tip in for how many billion dollars? I'm pretty I'm pretty sure you brought up... Is Why it? a billion, dude? I'd get it for a couple hundred bucks. See, exactly. My point. <laughs> like, you would take... I mean, like, everyone's probably shoved a finger up there at some point. When you're wiping, it accidentally slips in a couple of times. You're breaks disgusting, through the dude. All that shit, right? But the point is, you would take a dick in the ass, which would technically mean you've had homosexual engagement. That doesn't make engagement. No, no, I didn't say gay. I said it, you've had a homosexual experience. Because it's another dick. Some okay. guy's jerking you off while he's sticking his dick in you. That's a, that's a homosexual experience. <sighs> All right? So you would take money for I'm that. I'm sweating right now. <laughs> if, if all those supporters can turn around, and if and if let's say Donald Trump, because he's got a lot of money, turns around and says, "I'm going to give you billions of dollars because I've got it," if you let me stick my dick in your butt, so what, they're going to turn around and tell me, "I would never do that because I support fucking religion and Christianity." No, you would fucking. There'd be, there'd be a drop. lot more. There'd be a lot more multimillionaires walking around. Oh then. well, I don't know if they'd be walking straight, but they'd be, you know. I was going to say, <laughs> walking let's, bring, on an let's bring it back to what I wrote down the first twenty minutes. Yep. All I've written down is Japan sex. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm actually well-versed. I'm really well-versed in Japan, the Japanese culture now. <laughs> yep. I've talked about it before, man, about how the fact that social norms in Japan, mm-hmm. like we, this is what we're touching on, the fact that social norms in Japan are so fucking rigid, so based on, on respect and saving face and all that, but yep. their sexual culture is completely off the fucking wall. Oh, it's crazy. I've always wanted to go to Japan just to see it. <laughs> Just to see it. Yeah, sure. Just to, well, no. <laughs> Look from a distance. <laughs> <laughs> like a petting zoo, you know yeah. what I mean? It's very open. Is it? It's it's more open there. So, I mean, like, I don't know if you how much you know about look, it, I've, but look, I've you read, can drink on the street I've, there. I've read what I've read. I've got friends that have gone, but yeah. I've never actually gone to Japan. Yeah. It's on the list. But So, you can you can buy alcohol and drink it on the street openly next to a cop, yeah. and, and they'll probably have a beer with you or something. You know, like, it's very chill. Okay. The cops are super lazy. Um, they have nothing to do all the time because it's just there's like no rarely any crime. Yeah, See, I brought that up ages ago. We brought that up ages ago on an episode, like a, probably last year at some point. Yeah, and it was about how you know how they try to link in gaming, online gaming, online shooters with uh, oh your violence, and violence yeah, yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, but the biggest online gaming community is in Japan. And yeah, they have almost no fucking gun deaths. Yeah, so it's got nothing to do with. Again, there you go. It's got nothing to do with the technology being presented. Mm-hmm. It's about the culture and the fucking education behind the technology. Yeah. And everything around it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like, uh, when, when I went, my mum messaged me and she was, because I was, um, there was a knife attack, some crazy, it was just, it was just mental. It was just mental. Yeah, case. yeah. Uh, went around and started stabbing, like, schoolgirls. Yeah. Young schoolgirls just outside of Tokyo. And my mum messaged me and she's like, is everything all right? And I'm like, yeah, 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 I'm not near that. I was going to say. And she goes, oh, I'm, not, I'm not a Japanese schoolgirl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm fine. But, but, like, people were jumping on him and he was just slashing away, yeah? Yeah. And I think he ended up killing, like, I don't know, 10 or something people. 10 girls. 10, 10 young girls. They're only young. It's pretty yeah, sad. Yeah. Primary school age. And anyway, I said to her, she goes, I can't believe it's such a violent country. And I go, Mom, 2008 was the last, like, weaponized attack in Japan. Yeah. We have one every four minutes in Melbourne. Like, it's constant. You walk down the street and some, some guy's going to probably stab you yeah. for your money. Like, it's, it's, it's that crazy. And the only thing you got to be aware of is when you do 
get to those um, main areas. In so Tokyo is going to be your, your main sexual hub. Uh, <laughs> I love it. You got you've just when you get there, you just put up a map. It's mapped out. You yeah. put a map of the subway system in your hotel room <laughs> with big fucking indicators. Oh, it's Osaka, <laughs> Harajuku girl. Yeah. Oh, so you know, you know some dude. You know some area. Harajuku <laughs> during the, the day of the, of the world. The things you need to watch out for, honestly, is uh, the black guys. What black guys? There's there's black guys. There. <laughs> what? There's, there's big black guys who speak Japanese who are hired. From what I was told by the locals who I spoke racist to, racist do you, dude? I love them. I love it. I hate everyone equally. By the way, I'm just saying. I'm just. I mean. I mean, like, if you're in Japan and you see a black dude, you're going to say yeah, that's a black dude. Do you know what I mean? They stand out like a fucking. Yeah. Well, they would. Exactly. They're four foot tall over the, every, everyone yeah, else. And, and these guys are like six five, huge, okay, so, 150 kilos. Okay. Right. So they stand on the corners of the streets, especially in Harajuku. You see them a lot as you go into the middle of the main shopping strip. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And at first you think, oh, they're just tourists or something. No, man. They, these guys are brought in from their country by Yakuza or similar yeah, yeah. similar gangs. They teach them Japanese. They teach them the basics. And they're cheap labor. And they're fucking muscle. So if you must, like, if you muck around, they they will jump on you. And, like, you you can see one of them. And then if you get into a fight with one of them, you'll, you'll be surrounded by ten guys in, like, seconds. They oh, just shit. they come out of everywhere. Yeah. It's, it's actually more dangerous than you think. In terms of physical, like, punching violence. It can happen. I mean, I haven't specifically seen it. Yeah. Uh, but it does. Yeah, it does happen. They they will like they're very closely um, connected to like all the other shops and stuff around them. So if you pick a fight with someone, like they'll jump you. Like fifteen of them will jump you. No shit. You'll get outnumbered within seconds. Holy shit! And yeah. what are they? Just muscle for the triads, basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They they basically try and force you because they're so big. They actually don't target tourists. They target Japanese people. And they'll swear at them and shit if they walk away from them. For what? What are they targeting for? They're saying, come with me, come with me, I'll take you to a shop. And they, they, sell, they try and sell them, like, fake merchandise, which okay. is way overpriced. Okay. But because they're so you big, see, yeah, they're I was intimidating. Say, you see that, I mean, I saw that in, in Thailand. I saw yeah. That. yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Dude, Thailand, the first time I went, man, when I didn't know. Yeah. Like, I've been to Thailand twice now, yeah. I've done Southeast Asia, like, five times mm -hmm. in ten years. Yeah. But the first time I went, man, I had no idea when I got to Thailand, we got whisked away from the main strip. Yeah. And basically someone said, oh, do you want cheap fucking shit or something? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And we said, okay, like, we'll go. You know, there was yeah. three of us. Like, yeah, fuck it. We got in the back of these uh, tuk-tuks and we went. Yeah. We end up in literally, it looked like it was middle of the day, so everything was shut. Yeah. And it's just every storefront shut. Like, yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. I'm like, where the hell are we? Yeah. And we get sort of coerced into this fucking shop front, which was like a jewelry shop or like they sold bags or whatever. Yeah. And they shut the doors. Yeah, and there's like no one there, man. There's like three people. I'm like, yeah. dude, this is not right. Like yeah. we're in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah, in, yeah. In Bangkok, one of the busiest cities, and but I remember feeling unsafe. Yeah, and you feel intimidated because you're in another country. Yeah, and you don't know like where to fucking turn. Yeah, the cops might be on their payroll too. Who, know, know. who the fuck knows? Yeah. So you're saying these black dudes, they use them as just basically muscle as yeah, and it turns the muscle if they, yeah. they don't get. It's in intimidation because they're so big and Japanese people are so shy. They're so quiet. It, yeah. They're very quiet people. Yeah. Honestly, like, you, you can you can stereotype them as, like, oh, you know, they're very quiet. Look, they're normal people. If they get drunk, they get loud, but they're never violent. No yeah. matter how smashed. Like, these guys are passing out. I remember those times I was walking around uh, Shinjuku, because that's that's a pretty good place to get smashed. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Shibuya. Shibuya is another place to get good to get smashed. I'd walk around, and, like, there's some Japanese guys, like, just passed out on the floor, on the road. Yeah. And I'd go and pick them up, and I'd buy them a bottle of water. I'd put them on the side, make sure they're okay. Like, you know, just because I'm a normal person yeah, who's yeah. not smashed. Oh, dude, I've, I remember driving home once from the city, man. I remember I went, I was, no, I was on Chapel Street one night, and I was with a mate, and he introduced me to some other people there, right? And then I ended up, like, we all ended up leaving this bar, and yeah. the mate that he introduced me to, yeah. he was head back my way as well. I said, oh, I'll give you a lift. You know, I just met the guy that yeah. night. Yeah. As we're driving along, we're going through Malvern somewhere. Yeah. Just outside of Paran, and there's a kid lying on the fucking ground. Yeah. Dude, it was like midnight, one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. He's in like a, a short sleeve shirt, looked young, like 18. And I'm like, what the fuck? Is that a guy? So we've pulled over. Yeah. Jumped out and we tried to get him up. He was gone, man. We yeah. Got him up. Yeah. Pulled out his phone. It was like an old fucking 5110. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Pulled it up and looked at the last messages and was like, babe, where are you? Oh, oh shit. Up. Yeah, yeah. So I've called up and go, hello. He's like, hello. I'm like, hi. I go, I've picked up your boy here, whoever mm. it is, and he's fucked. He's like, oh, it's actually his like 19th birthday or his 18th birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he texted me. He had like the toughest name. His like, surname was like Steel or something. <laughs> he emailed me like a day or two later because I think I gave him my card or Max. something. 
Yeah. Yeah. I gave him my card or something. He said, look, man, you got any more issues? Like, give me a call. Yeah. And he, he mailed me. He's like, dude, I'm the guy that you picked up off the ground the other night. Like, mm. I, I appreciate it. Like, yeah. I would probably died of hypothermia if you didn't find me that. Yeah. Way. Yeah. Yeah. I read that about Japan though. It was someone, I, I can't remember, was this an anecdote? It was a story from someone, like a traveler. I can't remember who it was, but they said that they were on a train in a business district. And they used to take the train in, yep. like, to go in. Yep. And there was a dude that they started chatting to on the train. Yes. And then by the end of the night, they got lost going back from somewhere. Yeah. And this same dude yeah. was, like, sh- half shirtless, fucking smashed yeah. on, like, a park bench. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? But they don't hurt anyone. That's the best part yeah. of it. They're really quiet. Even on the trains, they're smashed, and they're just, like, They've they've shoved their wrist into the the handhold so they don't like completely stack so over. Fall over. Yeah, and they're just smacked like they're completely gone. But there's two there's really two types of people you should watch out for. The the black dudes are if you ever see a black dude, they're usually they're not tourists unless they're speaking American, like heavy yeah. accent. How fucking racist do you? No, right no, I'm now? being honest. I'm just being honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you see them on the side of the street, like just stay away from. Them. Yeah. Unless they're a tourist and you can what hear the American. What's the sex industry in Japan? I'm about to tell you. <laughs> And then the other, <laughs> because so so, so, so so what what my point is right? They're the muscle for like uh, clothing shops, yeah, food yeah. shops, and all that sort of stuff. Okay, that are run by gang. Okay, then you have the sex side of things because they don't usually deal with that unless it's strip joints. They just get you into the strip joint. Yeah, the problem that Japan has with sex is that they target young girls. So the legal age in Japan is thirteen. Yeah. Right. Um. Now. I don't know if you've ever watched Japanese porn, but I watch it religiously. And, um, <laughs> just, you, you, the Inkaki hits one of the greatest. No, 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 there's only one load, that's my load. Um, <laughs> and, and like, it's the inch, <laughs> the, it's the my inch. load's the heaviest. <laughs> the only one that matters. Well, you know, I mean, I don't want to brag. But You're <laughs> fucked, man. But, but in the intros of these videos, right, <laughs> they always, like, have, like, a spy cam, and they walk up to a girl on the yeah. street, and they'll be like, hey, you know, what, you know. like, that's real. That actually happens. And and as a normal human being, like, I saw it happen to young schoolgirl. And so, well, the first time I, because I went to Japan last year and this year, and the first time I went to Japan last year, uh, I was in Harajuku, and I just experienced the whole the black guy intimidation thing. And I thought, fuck this. I just told the guy, I'm like, fuck off. I'm not buying shit from you. I didn't know at the time this yeah. was my first time experiencing it. Shut. <laughs> no, I just told him, fuck off. Yeah. I walked out. Um. And then as I was walking down, I was walking towards the station, I was with Mrs. New Mate, and these two older guys approached these two schoolgirls. Young girls, probably like 14, 15, maybe. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on here? One guy was like standing on the side as if he was muscle, and the other guy had a cauliflower ear, so he's probably had a couple yeah, of smacks to, to the head. And he was talking to them holding a little bag with a, you could see a little hole there, like it looked like a camera. Yeah. And that's where I thought, fuck, I've seen this on like every porn I've ever watched. This is legit. <laughs> So anyway, I stood like- One comes to life. Uh, yeah. And I stood sort of close and I was trying to listen to what they were saying because I, I, I've i been studying Japanese. And I could hear him say like, come with me, I'll make you famous. Something along those lines. Right? Uh, direct translations would be blurry, but somewhere around there. Anyway, so I went up because I was getting really annoyed. Like, I'm like, this is fucked. If this happened in Australia, this can't be in jail. He should be beat the fuck up. He's a pedophile. I was getting, I was getting really angry. Yeah, and I was telling my friends, and I was telling my missus, I can't just sit here like this is bullshit. I'm not going to let these girls get used because they're terrified to go away. Like you could see on their faces, they were scared as shit. And the guy was like trying to charm them, and he's laughing, and they were trying to walk away, and he just blocked them with his body. Right, and I thought this is fucked. I'm just going to step in. Fuck this cunt. <laughs> and but look, honestly, it's probably not a smart thing because if yeah, they turn around, and knows he knows the yeah. cops or something, or there's other people. Like yeah, this is not a good. Could be a dude. Yeah, it's, it's never squad, a good. Yeah. Idea. yeah, it's never a good idea. Uh, anyway, I was I was emotional, so I just went in there. I stood right in front of him. I just stared in his face, like just fucking stared him right in the fucking eyes. And he's looking at me, and I turn around, I face, I put my back to him, which is even more dangerous. Yeah. I should not have done that. And I turned to the girls and I asked them in Japanese, "How old are you?" And they said, "I think one was fourteen, one was fifteen. That's why I couldn't remember exactly their age." And I said, uh, "Do you know this guy?" And they said, "No." And I grabbed both of them and I started like pulling them away from the guy, and I was like, "Come with me, come with me." And the guy was like, oh, what are you doing? And he grabbed one of them. And I, w- I let go of her hand. I went back up to his face. And I'm like, fuck off. I didn't know how to say it in Japanese at the time. So I just said it in English. And then he goes, and he goes, what are you doing? And I'm like, where's the train? And then the girls had run off at this point. And he's like, oh, he's like, train's behind me. I'm like, oh, sorry, man. I didn't know. I just played it off like I was a, like, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I wanted help. Yeah. And then he went, turned to his friend. He's like, fuck, we lost them. And I was like, you know what? Probably stupid. You should never do that. But. 
those guys are fucking everywhere. Jesus and Christ. And I'm telling you, they're everywhere. Every street corner where there's an intersection, yeah. every cross intersection on any major street, they're there. You'll see them in suits, in casual, in groups, solo. Like, they are bait. Like, why I usually call them baiters? Because they try and bait the girls. Yeah, yeah. They're everywhere, man, in Japan. <laughs> everywhere. Like, this is the sex culture. They try and recruit, and they say, we'll make you famous, we'll make you a model. And they just take them back to a love hotel and slam them because yeah. the love hotels are everywhere. Yeah, the love hotels are nothing. Yeah, they're yeah. amazing though. <laughs> 80, 80 bucks for a night gets you like the top of the top love hotel. 80. It's amazing how um like the sex industry across the world changes. Yeah, through cultural like barrier through through borders, through yeah. physical borders and cultural borders. Yeah, the way sex is seen and the way like the whole thing like it's so fucking weird. One thing I forgot to mention was there was another time I saw it happen and I actually pulled a cop aside and I said. Like, right next to you, this guy is harassing this girl, and she's uncomfortable. And he went, he had cornered her in with both his arms. Jesus. And she was trying to move away, and he, she couldn't. And I said, can you stop this? Like, help. And he just laughed. The cop laughed at me, and he goes, don't worry about it. Fucking hell. That's their culture. That's what it's like. It's so bad that girls, that, that's the one thing I would never live in Japan for, because girls are looked down on so badly, whether it's work, whether it's yeah, outside. I was going to say, like, we're so big about the equality thing here. Yeah. Mm. Pushing for equal pay, equal blah, blah, blah. And that's why they like Westerners. Yeah, but Japanese culture, man, like, it's not like that at all. It's well, set back. That's why the girls are into white guys, because they know that they have some level of respect towards them. Yeah. It's it's really bad, honestly. Japanese guys, for the most part, that I saw, were really rude to their female partners, or any just any female yeah. in general. They think it's a joke. And it's not, because it hurts them. A lot. That's crazy. Yeah. It's pretty fun. You wouldn't think of that, though, coming from what you know about Japan, like... Like the dignitaries, man. The, the diplomacy, the face. Groping is really common on trains there. Yeah, I've heard about that as like, well. Like, uh, half of the people I spoke to said they've been groped yeah, on yeah. the train. And they can't do anything about it. No. no one steps in. It's really bad. <laughs> but apart from that, the food's great. <laughs> <laughs> Every food you eat in Japan is amazing. I guarantee you, you'll never have a stomach ache. You'll never have a bad meal. It's always going to be good. That's amazing, man. It's crazy. You get, dude, you go to food... Where was I the other day? I bought some fucking something... From out, yeah. oh, dude, I, I was in Dandy yesterday. Yeah, I went to A One. Yeah, the Lebanese. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, we bought some zata and fucking like whatever else they help. Yeah, me. I got some um, burek and stuff. Yeah, dude, my stomach has been fucked for twenty four hours. Yeah, no, legit. Yeah, and I was what the fuck, dude? You got to keep me like you're eating a lot of raw products in Japan, and it tastes like butter. Delicious, delicious butter, and you never get a stomach ache. <laughs> delicious, I, delicious butter. I never had a stomach ache in Japan. <laughs> it, it, both times I went, I never had a stomach ache. And like, I'm not big on raw food. I actually don't like sushi. Like, we're, and, dude, we're Greeks. We burn our food. <laughs> correct, but meat. In, in, meat. <laughs> when when I was in Japan, like I thought, I'm just going to accept it. I'll try it. Yeah. And holy fuck, like it's good. It just tastes like butter. It's like eating, if you eat raw salmon in, in here, I hate it. I've tried it in Australia. It's disgusting. I, I don't know how you people eat raw salmon you like people. from your sushi shop. <laughs> You're all fucked in the head. But in Japan, it's butter. Yeah, but there's a different way. Of, number one. It's quality preparation. One, you're, you're comparing the grade of food. Yeah. The quality of meat. The fucking prepping that goes into it. Yeah. Dude, you're telling me sushi at fucking Waverly Gardens is anywhere near the sushi you're going to have in sushi, fucking, sushi. you know. No, it's nothing. Saka. Like, come on, man. Well, they're not the same in, in general, yeah. I mean, they don't sell sushi rolls. No. Yeah. California rolls are something we create. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, mind, mind you, I went to uh, Kobe as well. Yeah. And um, I always used to see videos about people say like, oh, you know, you put the beef in your mouth and it just, you don't Bounce. chew it. Yeah. yeah. I always thought that was bullshit. It's, it's, it's real. It's true. And I cost you two grand. Well, cost us two grand. Two we grand. went to the best of the best you could get. I had to book it in advance. Um, there was four of us, so it was 500 each, whatever. Yeah. And uh, we had the best meal of our life. But man, I've, I've been to a couple of steak joints over the last couple of months. Hmm. There's nothing like paying like money for a fucking steak, man. That's just been done like properly. I I so I went to fuck, what is it? There's a steak joint that just opened up in there, around the corner from me. Would you see it? Your joint? Yeah. Nah. It's a famous one. Um, oh, is it like a big branded one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Squires. Squires Loft. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Squires Loft. Okay, it just opened up in Cheltenham, right? <laughs> and uh, we went there when it opened. It's yeah. been busy ever since. Like we we were struggling to get a table. Yeah. I'm like, this This has to be amazing. I've heard people say they're amazing. Yeah. I went in. I got ribs. You got a steak. Mate got a steak. It was fucked. It wasn't that great. I went to Squires. 60 bucks for a steak. I went to maybe Squires like three weeks ago, three, four weeks yeah. ago. Yeah. You, you got to know, know what you're getting. A steak. Yeah, okay. But there's different cuts of steak. Do you know your meat? Yeah, of course I do. See, I don't know meat that well. I cook every day. I steak 
Dude, I cook, very often. I cook every fucking day, man. Yeah. I just don't know cuts of meat properly. Oh, I do. But Squires, I almost always get the same cut of meat. What do you it's get? It's always good. It's just, you know what it is? It's actually one of the cheapest cuts on the, on the meat. I, I get the rump. Oh. The rump? Like, Rump's it's, good. It's 350 grams or something? Yeah. It's less than 35 grams. I get, I will put my How dick on the it? table. How do you have it? Medium rare. Okay, good. <laughs> I'll put my dick good. on the table <laughs> good. and say that I can make you a better steak than they can. I don't disagree. I, I, I will I will seriously, I, I want to make you a steak now Ooh. because I'm so sick of places charging 60 to 100 bucks for a high quality steak. I'll, 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 bring, a, I'll bring a fucking a, a bouquet of flowers and a bottle of wine. Mm. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> steak and a blowjob. You bring, <laughs> you bring your jocks? No, but seriously, like, I, like I, I, I sometimes go to an independent butcher around the corner from me and sometimes if, I wanna, if I'm not feeling lazy, I'll go and get a massive slab of scotch fillet for about 30 bucks yeah. at Costco and I'll cut them up into steaks. And I sous vide my steak. I, I will not cook a steak without sous vide it. Really? Yeah. I have a sous vide machine. You probably didn't see because I've hidden it. Because <laughs> um, people judge me. But I sous vide my steak. And it's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. I promise you. Chicken, fish, whatever it is. If you don't have a sous vide machine, go and look into it. Because it will change your life. What do they cost? 100 bucks, 150 bucks. Yeah? It's just a machine that heats the water. That's all it is. Yeah, I know. And then you've got to go buy a vacuum seal bag, which is another 100 bucks. A <laughs> vacuum machine, you know, and a bag. Yeah. Um, but you put it in there. At a set temperature, it never changes temperature, never overcooks, never undercooks. It's perfectly cooked every time because the temperature. I'm temperature fucking starving, start. man. I was going to make chicken nuggets tonight with. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. It's it's. Do I do I go I've, buy some steaks? I've never Seriously. experienced anything. I've got so many steaks in the. Fr- this is the other thing, right? I freeze all my steak. I freeze steaks as well. And people say like it loses quality, but I vacuum seal my steak. Yeah. And nothing. You cannot tell. I promise you, you cannot tell. It's no, frozen. dude. Vacuum vacuum. No freezer stuff. burn. Nothing. Vacuum sealed stuff is fine, man. Yeah, it's actually really good. But you should get a sous vide. I, I, if that's if that's a religion, I believe. <laughs> I believe in the sous vide because all restaurants around the world use them. They've used them for many years, but now they've finally got them into a version you can take Just, home yeah, and use at home. Regular punter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, Dude, it's I'm fucking starving. It's like 40, I lunch. forty-five minutes to an hour. Do you know what I've had to eat today? I've had two bowls of cornflakes. That's all I've had. You know what the best thing is? No, I can <laughs> I can open my phone, open the app. Oh, and and turn the sous vide on right now, and the meat can be sitting in there. I can just turn it on, and I can leave it there all day if I want. I can turn it off. I can adjust the temperatures from here. Dude, I don't need to be home. I'm fucking starving. How crazy is that? I'm gonna have to make. And then I go home, <laughs> right? And I bought a cast iron because they're the best for searing oh, steaks. Dude, cast iron. I-, I bought man when I fucking first moved. Have you seen my um my cooking page? No. Okay. I, got I didn't a- know you had one. I got a cooking page. I told on you Insta. I don't really follow you that much. I know. I got a cooking page <laughs> on Insta. Yeah, and the, I want to follow this. One of the first things that I promoted mm-hmm. was my cast iron skillet for yeah. fucking Big W, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, every time I've gone back, I can't find it. Yeah. I bought it when I first moved into my house, man, because like, my mum had gave me her old cuts out all this. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. And I said, I need just a nice skillet just, yeah. to, just to warm something up, yeah. just to cook something. Yeah. Cast iron, Big W is like 10 bucks. Yeah. Man, I fucking put this thing through hell. Yeah. It's the best for meat, man. The yep. best. Yeah, it's amazing. Says. It's the best cr- everything, like burgers, steak, yeah. whatever it is. It's so good. It's just, it's, yeah. it's just that you have to keep it oiled because it rusts. Yeah. Yeah. But they're great. It rusts smashed. I, I, I put it in the oven full blast for about 15 minutes before I see the steak, put it straight on the heat. The thing's smoking as hell. Yeah. And just, oh. Dude, lip, rust, lip, rust, whatever, man. Lip, scratch it off. Lip to, <laughs> lip to iron cast contact. I'm fucking starving. Actually, I'm really hungry. We should probably wrap this up. What time is it? Uh, it is... Oh, shit. <laughs> no wonder I've got five missed calls. Yeah, it's, it's six o'clock, man. How oh. long do you reckon this went for? Two hours. Two hours? Is that your final guess? I think so. We I think do we... this every fucking episode, man. Hang on a second. Wait, six o'clock? What time? How long do you reckon this has been running? Come on, man. Take a guess. I think we got here at three. Did we get here at three? Has it been three hours? We are sitting on two hours and 42 minutes. Holy shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, and I'm going to fucking edit this now. <laughs> oh, shit. I did not know that. I'll do it tomorrow. I, I feel like we've been here for like an hour. Nah, nah. I'm going to go. You know what? I'm going to go buy some steak. I was going to do chicken nuggets tonight, mm. but I think it's time for steak. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm, do you want some? I got some in the freezer. No, no, no. I've probably got steak. I've got ribs at home, but I need to marinate those, so there's no way I can cook them. I'm do you smoke your ribs? What do you do with ribs? Ribs? Mm. Do you smoke them at all or no? Nah. No, it's I, a lot uh, of work. It's too much work. I haven't got the room for a smoker, man. I sous vide my ribs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. They're amazing. I um, Dude, I marinate them, obviously, 24 hours before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do I usually put on it, man? All the usual standard fucking suspects as far as marination yeah. shit goes, like spicing. Yeah. But always, always bourbon. Oh, yeah. Bourbon has to be on the ribs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll go all out. You know what I usually make? I, I haven't, I'd want it, I've been putting off making ribs because I know I'm going to have to make this with it. Cornbread. 
Dude, yeah. I just I, started recently dude, trying cornbread. It's I, hard to make I've made it. cornbread. I've made it twice or three times, man. It's turned out perfect every time. I'm so far. I need to try it then because I can't get it. Like, my missus is American, so she always wants cornbread, and I can't get... i got to bring it up. I can't get cornbread right. Are you serious? The ratios of whatever I'm putting in there, because I think I add baking powder or something. I don't, I I don't know how I fluke it. Yeah. Every, but every time I've done it, man, it's fucking... Mine's always, up. like, way too dry. <sighs> like, way too dry. I pick it up, and it like, sand. Damn. Yeah, I, sort of. You, I can't remember. I did that the first time. Yeah, that was my first time. Dude, come on, man. Come on, oh, that's a good color. Yeah, man. That's a very nice color. Yeah, you make the coleslaw, the ribs. Yeah, yeah. You know, maybe mac and cheese as well, like on the side. Yeah. It's such a comfort meal, man. For wintertime, it's fucking perfect. Hang on. There's another one. I've done it. I made a lot of international shit, man. <laughs> See the burritos or fucking... Um, uh, All right, I've only seen, I've only seen like your, your wog job. Really? Post. Yeah, I don't even know why I've seen those ones and I haven't seen the other ones. Ah, man. I've you, seen your fucking... You get wet over this. I made rack and doll mothers. Ah, no, no, no. Dude, look at this shit. Cornbread. Perfect cube. Yeah, it is perfect cube. Yeah, dude. Is that right from the center? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spare ribs marinated in bourbon, sweet potato mash, corn cobs, long beans. Oh, I love sweet potato mash. You know what's good? Pea mash. Pea mash? That's really nice. I haven't had it. Oh, I haven't. I, Mum made it for me the other day. It was surprisingly good. What's that? This is making me fucking hungry. What is that? Oh, is that the mix? Ribs, yeah. mash, cornbread, beans. See, why would you See, why would you go to like TGI's and pay 50 bucks for that? When you can make it at home and be more enjoyable. Because that's the problem, dude. For me to make that meal now, not only do you have to marinate the meat, first of all. Yeah. Making mash, yeah, making the, cornbread. Yeah, It, it yeah. takes a while. The time, yeah. I usually make those meals on a Sunday when See, I have time. I, I was about to say, I forget because I don't work. <laughs> <laughs> so I have all day to... I'm paying taxes so you can sit at home. Yeah. Look at Japanese porn and yeah, cook thanks, whatever you want with thanks, a souvenir. <laughs> thanks for your $100 fortnight <laughs> donation there, mate. Thanks. Appreciate that's that. That's straight out of my money. <laughs> All right, let's uh, wrap it up. I should probably say this because I forgot to do it every other time. Like, share, follow, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Please do. Episode 90, 99. Next episode is going to be episode 100. That'll be I actually don't know what I'm going to fucking do. Bow. <laughs> yeah. Next episode. Next no, no, yeah. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> cool, man. Uh, yeah, till next time. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Hold up. <laughs>